On a beautiful day like today, you would normally find this lakefront neighborhood just buzzing with boaters, families, friends, visitors from all over who come out to enjoy Wixom Lake. But as you can see behind me, the devastation remains as the lake runs dry. I made my way back to the Pine Trail subdivision where residents here tell me it's been extremely emotional. Devastation. Everybody's upset. It's very emotional. I've, I'm not used to being a victim. I'm used to helping people. This is hard. Amy Kaler says her neighborhood is somber after a whirlwind of events over the past couple weeks. Corona's out the door now. We're on to flood. <laughs> we haven't had no time to worry about the six foot rule. It is what it is. Um, we're trying to get it out before it molds. She says they were able to save a few sentimental items, but the house has to be completely gutted. We were fortunate enough to have my daughter up the road. They came to help us grab photo albums and things like that out. Uh, but the rest of it's a total loss. On top of losing her home, Kaler said she wanted to address why so many lakefront property owners don't have flood insurance. One comment I, I keep seeing on Facebook is you should have had flood insurance. We are not in a flood zone. Homeowners doesn't just give you flood insurance. If you're not in a flood zone, it is very expensive. In normal housing, you do not have flood insurance. She says she's just thankful for all of those who have stepped up to support both Midland and Gladwin counties. Meridian High School has been coming through daily with food, cleaning supplies, water. They've got donations from around the country, Tennessee, Virginia. We got boxes of food from a church in Virginia. In Gladwin County, Ashland Hill, WNEM TV5.